And now, the Mickey Mouse Club presents Annette. Today's episode, The Fight. Why don't you young folks get in some dancing while the steaks are cooking? Oh, thanks a lot, Miss Abernathy. Right. I'll watch it. You watch this big one for me, won't you, Mr. Abernathy? Sure, I will. I'll look after your interests there, Steady. Thank Cream and cake. Come on. Well, you got a deal. Be silly, Laura. Nobody brought anybody. Look, Steve, I've had just about enough of this. Enough of what? Enough of her. And I think it's about time you and everybody else knew. Oh, I know you refuse to believe anything against her, but you might as well know Look, that... Laura, this is no place for an argument. Now, if you'll excuse me. Are you going to let her get away with that? Oh, Jet, not here. Ignore her, Jet. Oh, Stevie, this is all too silly. Well, that's one way of doing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Stevie, we don't have to stand for this. That's right, chicken out. Jet, don't. Okay, since you asked me, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I've had all I'm going to take of your hinting and whispering and talking about a net behind her back. You're either going to say it out or else. Come on, say it. Are you going to let her talk this way to me? Okay, Laura. Look, you don't want to really make a scene here now, do you, Jet? What about her insinuations? Jet, not here. Come on, Stevie. Oh, no, you don't. Say it, I dare you. Get your hands off me, you country bumpkin. Say it! Gee whiz. Say it, say it! Here, here, you two girls. Stop it, do you hear? All right, I'll say it. She took my necklace. She what? Take that back. You better take that back. Got a girl, Jeff. Give it to her. She's been asking for it. You keep out of this. You sawed off the runt. Oh, yeah? Are you going to say it? Take it back. Hurry up. Take it back. I dare you. Take it back. Well, come on, let's take her in the house. So, give me a hand, will you, Steve? Yeah. Look out. Are you all right, Jeff? Don't worry about me. 
I'm all right. But I guess I kind of ruined the party. Heck no, you put some life into it. I'll get us a couple of towels. Come on, Annette. No, no, Jet. Take it easy. Come on now. It's all over with. She had no business calling Annette a thief. I know. But you didn't have to knock her for a loop. A poke in the nose is the only thing she understands. And a mighty hefty poke it was, too. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, she had it coming to her. She's been after Annette ever since she came to Ashford. Beating her up isn't the answer, Jet. I'll do it again if she makes any more cracks about her. Okay, but don't get yourself all riled up about it. Come on now, dry those tears. Let's see if we can get you some dry clothes to put on. No, I'm going home. Don't be silly, Jet. Val must have something here that you can put on. No, I guess I goofed coming here in the first place. I'm always doing the wrong thing. No wonder everybody's sore at me. I'm not sore at you. You're not? Of course I'm not. How could I be sore at you? Huh? Well, when you were in there mixing it up with Laura, I was really pulling for you. You were? I sure was. Gosh, a goofy kid like me? Well, you're not goofy, Jet. You're one of the smartest girls I know, and the very nicest. <sighs> Did you have a nice time? Is anything wrong? Well, there was a little trouble. Nothing to worry about. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Now, now, don't get all excited. I'll tell you about it later. Annette, why don't you go up to your room? We'll talk it all over in the morning. All right, Uncle Archie. I'm sorry about everything. Poor kid. She's so upset. Oh, Archie. For heaven's sakes, tell me what happened. Have you been in an accident? No, no accident. Nothing at all. But Archie, for pity's sake, stop beating around the bush and tell me the child was white as a sheet. Oh, it's a shame it wasn't her fault. Do you mean to tell me those girls actually fought each other? <laughs> Did they fight? From what I can find out, it was a regular knockdown, drag them out. <laughs> Sorry I missed it. Archie. Jim's daughter's a regular wildcat. She got pretty well scratched up, too, and you should have seen her black eye. It was a beaut. Oh, Archie, how can you take it so lightly? It's dreadful. Two girls fighting each other like two roughneck boys. From what I could find out, Laura Rogan was considerably messed up, too. Oh, Archie, what are we going to do about it? Do about it? What can we do? It's all over now. I wasn't thinking about the fight, Archie. I'm thinking about Annette. She's been accused of stealing a necklace. That's a serious charge. That necklace must be found, and at once. I know, Lila, but how? Apparently, they've searched the place from stem to stern, even covered the grounds, just vanished into thin air. Well, it, it has to be someplace. Yes, Lila, but where? <laughs> Well, 
I should have known this morning that something was wrong when she didn't want to go on the hayride. Yes. And now I can understand why she didn't want to go around with Val and Moselle and the others. Poor kid, carrying that burden all by herself all these weeks. Archie, we failed her. What are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> but I'll think of something. <sighs> Next episode, The Farewell Letters. <laughs>